again and welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Khan. It's time now to look at your health radar. Federal officials charge four cancer charities with misusing more than $187 million. The Federal Trade Commission says these groups raise money, but instead of helping people in need like children with cancer, they took trips to Las Vegas, New York, and Disney World. An orthopedic company in Iceland has developed tiny little sensors allowing, this is so cool, amputees to control prosthetic limbs. The sensors are actually implanted into the muscle tissue and they receive signals sent from the brain. A new study says one third of U.S. adults have dangerous heart risk factors. Researchers call it metabolic syndrome and say a combination of health problems is increasing the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Sugar could be to blame for some of the health problems associated with heart disease, but here are some tricks to beating that sugar addiction. It can be done first. Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum says people need to be mindful of how much sugar they're actually consuming, then cut out all sugary drinks, including fruit juices, use stevia as a substitute, and if you order dessert at a restaurant, be nice, share, it will help you. And if you're stressed at work, don't reach for that candy bar, John. Stop doing it. Instead, a new study suggests listening to natural sounds like a waterfall. Researchers say relaxing sounds make for more productive workplaces, believe it or not. See? Waterfall. Waterfall. Just imagine. I prefer thunderstorms. Now let's check in. We're going to go to the, <clears throat> the, the floor of the U.S. Senate right now. Senator Rand Paul has taken to the floor to begin his filibuster of the NSA surveillance program. This could be a real issue. Senator Mitch McConnell was hoping for a quick passage and we also talked about this earlier today. Right. Trying to get this done before they go home. A lot of things to deal with over there in the U.S. Senate. The Trade Authority Bill, this as well as a transportation issue, the uh, Do you think we're trust gonna fund, the Highway Trust mm -hmm. Fund about to run out of money. Rand Paul going on the filibuster. We'll keep you posted. You can always, of course, check out Newsmax.com for the latest. Do you think he's going to get out uh, green eggs and ham? Or that was Ted Cruz's yeah. specialty. Well, um, which book do you think he'll choose? I don't know. You think we'll get that part? And of course, what's interesting now, too, is because Republicans have control mm -hmm. of the Senate, they can't block these filibusters. Mitch McConnell, I guess, could have blocked it if he wanted to. Um, I'm not sure about how all the parliamentary procedure works, but Harry It'll Reid used to block these types of things. <clears throat> Grandpa hmm. probably has sneakers on, which he's been known to do in these filibuster situations. Let's move on to our You're Not Helping segment. Right. Of course, uh, over the past week, everyone has been giving Jeb Bush a hard time over <laughs> his answer on the Kelly file to whether or not he should have invaded Iraq with what we know now. Mm -hmm. At a town hall meeting in Reno, Nevada, Jeb was asked to clarify his position. But then he said this. Uh, I felt it a duty, I didn't have to, to call all of the family members of people who lost their lives. And I don't remember the total number, but it was easily over 100. And I felt a duty to do that because I admired the sacrifice of their families and I admired the men and women, mostly men, that made the ultimate sacrifice. Ooh, mostly men? Ooh. Well, he may have been correct that there, of course, were men, more men in the military than women, especially in combat operations, but the statement sounds like men make more of a sacrifice in the military. And since half of the potential voters out there are women as a potential presidential candidate, especially for the party trying to recruit mm. more women and minority voters, probably not helping the situation by saying that. I'm sure, Jeb Bush regrets that comment as well. Also, Florida Congressman Alcee Hasting made his case for a pay raise for members of Congress during this congressional committee meeting. Hastings made it clear that the cost of living in Washington is too high. And you can't even afford it when you make $175,000 as a U.S. congressman. His point is that under the current pay structure, it is difficult for anyone except the wealthy to serve in public. Here's what he had to say. I will say it until I leave uh, that members deserve to be paid, staff deserves to be paid, and the cost of living here is causing serious problems uh, for uh, people who are not wealthy to be able to serve in this institution. That may be fine for staffers in Congress, but as I mentioned, the average salary for a U.S. Congressman, actually it's said, is $174,000. The average income for Hastings Congressional District being just under $36,000. Alcee Hastings, well, you should Google him if you want to know about his background. An interesting history there, interesting comments. Wow. So he's complaining 
that he's not making enough and his staff members are making, what was that, 30 something thousand? That's in his district. Yeah. The, uh, the, the median salary in his district, which is in Florida, is $36,000. Meantime, he's making $175,000. he received a few phone calls, emails, text Probably messages? Not. No, Probably not. you he don't think so? No, he keeps getting reelected, so, you know. Well, what are you going to do? <clears throat> anyway. All right, some foreign leaders are also making some headlines with some impressive athletic accomplishments. First up, North Korean leader Kim Jong un. Well, Korean State News Agency reported that he climbed the nation's highest mountain last Saturday in this attire right there. This is video of Kim walking atop the mountain in his long black coat and his shiny black shoes on those Twin Peaks. I think he still has gout, too. So, quite a feat there. And also in Russia, Vladimir Putin <laughs> was the star of an exhibition hockey game scoring eight goals. His team took a 18 to 6 victory. Anyone trying to dismiss the notion of ridiculous foreign leaders, those guys and their feats are not yeah. helping. Yeah, definitely.